Since Halo Infinite has released, I've seen a ton of people talk about the shock rifle. A lot of complaints, lots of misinformation, lots of wasted potential. But there are some pro players who make it look easy. Look at Lucid. Well, yeah, Mr. Sandman, I have my own tricks up my own sleeve right now. Ah! But so many players avoid picking up the weapon because they think it's bad or they just don't understand how to use it. So let's fix that. My name's Hollow Tide, and if you're new to the channel, throw a sub my way for more Halo content. And you can say that I was here before 10K. Let's get into the video. Now, this may be the hot take of the year, but I think the shock rifle is a better precision weapon than the S7 sniper. Crazy, I know. But in fact, even Ubernick believes this. A lot of changes have come with Halo Infinite, including how the S7 works. And while I think this is one of the harder snipers to use in the series, there's been a couple of adjustments to just how that weapon handles. There's no longer real aim assist when you are aiming from the hip. It also won't always hit dead center in the reticle when aiming from the hip if you're far away. But you know what weapon does have aim assist from the hip? Our good friend, the Shocker. I mean, the Shock Rifle. The Shock Rifle has 12 beam things in the magazine. Is it even a magazine? I don't know. It's definitely not bullets, but whatever. Anyways, you get 12 beams in the mag, and each time you shoot, it uses three of them, resulting in four pulses of death tricity from the weapon. So it's just like the sniper in that aspect. You get four shots. And although the sniper gets its own super cool high tier platform for a weapon spawn, which means there's longer wait times, and the game actually considers it more powerful than the shock rifle, which is kind of weird I guess, but this can work to your advantage. More uptime spawns for the shock rifle and less people using or fighting over it means that you can become a sensei of shock. Now, like everything we go over on this channel, you need to take this puppy out for a spin in training and firing range. Play against some bots, put on unlimited ammo, and just absolutely go to town. Once you think you have a feel for the weapon, start to change your playstyle up, you know, aim from the hip, slide around corners and quick scope, and kind of just get into using it how you would a regular sniper. I also feel like a lot of people try to compensate for the electric stream and they over adjust when trying to follow a target and they just end up missing that perfection. So let aim assist do the work. It's kind of like when Luke used the force to blow up the Death Star, kind of. I will say that the area I think the weapon suffers is the, you know, shoot and then melee combo. I don't think I've ever actually shot somebody with a stream and then meleeed them. I'm pretty sure it just doesn't have enough damage to the body. So it can't really compare to that that hybrid sniper shotgun combo that the S7 has where you just shoot somebody and then melee them. But real chads hit, you know, only headshots. So go take this baby out for a spin. Let me know after you get some gameplay with it, if you actually like the weapon, if you agree with me, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.